You are a chief officer and need to present the vessel for hatch cargo inspection to surveyors before loading cargo. I am sure you would be a worried man. Would I pass the host test? I am a hatch cargo watertight. Will my ship get cleared for loading the next cargo, etc. etc. Lots of worries. Well, it all boils down to the condition of rubber packing. If you want to have a in-depth view into why rubber packing get destroyed, damaged, then you are in the right place. You are watching Chief Engineer's Tea Time Talk, and I am Ramesh, and I will be the pilot who will guide you seamlessly to this channel. Welcome to the channel and quickly subscribe to the alerts on ship equipment topics and tips. Let's move on and hope you enjoy and gain from it. Thank you so much. Here you can see a hatch cover which keeps the water away from entering the hatch by means of a rubber packing. Even if uh, small amounts of water enter the hatch cover, it has enormous capacity to damage the cargo and the company can uh, really incur huge commercial losses. When we lower the hatch cover, the rubber packing gets compressed and prevents the water from entering the hatch. Now let's see this rubber packing in greater detail. You can see that the rubber has a air gap or you can say a white space or say a soft sponge here. Here you can see that as long as I compress the rubber by a particular predetermined amount, the rubber resets itself and sets to its original shape. Now if we try to compress it more than this design value, you can see that the air gap disappears and we lose the spring action provided by the air gap or soft punch. The result is that the packing undergoes permanent change in its shape. Grooving begins to happen. We call this as a permanent set or a compression groove. Of course, we need to avoid this. The rubber also gets hardened and is no longer soft enough to prevent the water from entering the hatch. Next, let us see what happens if the hatch cover moves sideways due to the listing of the ship. Here we see that the rubber packing takes the brunt and it operates outside of its intended purpose. The rubber packing will get damaged, distorted in no time. It is obvious that we need to avoid this as well. Then how do we do this and increase the life of the rubber packing which is so critical to the water tightness, seaworthiness and cargo of the vessel. Let us first avoid over compression. To avoid the packing from getting over compressed and get damaged, we have the rest pads with supports. Here you can see that when the hatch cover is closed, the support comes and lands on the rest pad and further compression of the rubber packing is avoided. This is assumed to be 25% of the height of the packing if the manual does not say specifically on this topic. You can obviously understand that the supports and rest pads being made of steel will rust corrode on open deck and the hatch cover will come down the more the corrosion happens on the rest pad and supports. And the rubber packing will get over compressed and get damaged. If the permanent set is 12.5% of the height of uh, the uh, packing, then the packing needs to be discarded. Next, let us see how to prevent the port starboard or forward off movement of the hatch cover. Here we can see that we have stoppers which are fitted on the hatch cover. This will prevent the movement of the hatch cover and protect the rubber packing from getting damaged. The correct positioning of the stoppers also ensures that the compression bar compresses the packing at the center line of the packing and not in any particular side. This obviously is going to make the compression more effective. Here you can see some pictures of the stoppers from a hatch cover. The stopper preventing the movement of the cover in port stopper direction is called the FY stopper. The stopper preventing the movement of the cover in four off direction is called the FX stopper. This is a picture of the rest pad and support from one of the vessels. Uh, correct monitoring of the distances, wear out of these very crucial components in the hatch cover will greatly enhance the life of the packing and also the seaworthiness and safety of the vessel and cargo. Hope you all like the video and have a great sailing. Thank you.